Welcome. Today we talk about the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. It was painted in 1503 and it is kept at the Louvre Museum in Paris. It is also known as La Gioconda, and it is probably the most famous painting in the world. The woman's mysterious smile and her unproven identity have made the painting a source of ongoing investigation and fascination. Historians have advanced numerous interpretations, including that she is Lisa del Giocondo, the wife of the Florentine merchant Francesco di Bartolomeo del Giocondo. Another theory was that the model may have been Leonardo's mother, Caterina. But for some reasons the painting was never delivered to its patron, and Leonardo kept it in his studio until he died. This detail brings us to a third suggestion, which is that the painting was Leonardo's self-portrait, given the resemblance between the woman's and the artist's facial features. A standard portrait from the Renaissance would have represented the subject with a profile pose, and cut off at the bust. But Leonardo's three-quarter view broke that tradition, and quickly became the convention for all portraits. The face is nearly frontal, the shoulders are turned toward the viewer, and the hands are included in the image. This was a new way of making a portrait which gives a sense of the personality of the subject. It inspired many artists who used the same pose for their works. The background landscape behind the woman was created using aerial perspective, with its smoky shades and no clearly defined vanishing point. It gives the composition significant depth. The subject's sculptural face shows Leonardo's skillful handling of sfumato, which is a technique that uses subtle gradations of light and shadow to create form, and reveals his understanding of the musculature and the skull beneath the skin. The sense of overall harmony achieved in the painting reflects Leonardo's idea of the cosmic link connecting humanity and nature, making this painting an enduring record of Leonardo's vision. Many historians believe the Mona Lisa to be a clever visual representation of the idea of happiness, suggested by the word, Gioconda, in Italian. The mystery around this work comes from a number of factors, first, her enigmatic half-smile. No one knows why she is smiling. Second, her gaze, which is directed to the right of the viewer. Many believe that her eyes follow you across the room, making her an active participant when being viewed. Even her hands seem strange, they have a slightly unreal, lifeless quality, almost as if they belonged to a different body. Very creepy. In 1911 the painting became famous all over the world because it was stolen from the Louvre. The artist Picasso was even arrested as a suspect. Eventually they found the Mona Lisa in the bottom of a trunk belonging to Vincenzo Perugia, an Italian immigrant who had worked at the Louvre. He wanted to return it to Italy, where he believed it belonged. Leonardo was in fact an Italian artist but he died in France, and the painting remained there after his death. However the Italian people have always claimed it as their own, and they think it should be displayed in an Italian museum. Fun fact, after Italy won the final of the World Cup in 2006 against France, they have asked the French to return the painting, clearly without much success. Since then, the Mona Lisa has survived vandalism, like thrown rocks and red paint, which have only added to the lore of this masterpiece. If you have ever wondered what is the price of the Mona Lisa, it is estimated to be over a billion dollars. However the Louvre Museum claims that it is priceless and they would never sell it. So, why is the Mona Lisa so famous? No one really knows. Its fame is probably the result of many chance circumstances combined with the painting's inherent appeal and her eye-catching smile. What do you think about painting? Are you fascinated or scared by it? Leave a comment.